Hey, welcome back to ID Sketching with Coach K. This is the channel where you can come and I can give you tips and tricks on how to sketch like a designer. So this week on my Instagram, I got a message from at Third Coast Trove and they wrote, how about some methods for implying motion or movement? Thanks, Coach. All right, great question. Not easy to do. Quite frankly, it's not something that I do very often, but I thought back uh, on some sketches that I've done and I'll show you some examples of what might be applicable in this situation. So let's get sketching. All right, so welcome back. And so here are a few examples. They may not be exactly what you're expecting, but uh, let's turn to the screen and I'll show you some examples. Uh, for instance, here on the first one, and, and these are these are videos that are that are out there on YouTube already. So you can, if you haven't seen them, you can go back and revisit them. But I just wanted to kind of show in this instance, the, the flow of the hair. So that's more contextual. So it is motion, but the product is a set of goggles. So uh, it implies kind of being up on the slopes. It's gonna be windy, it's gonna be cold. And so I kind of wanted to use that in the background of this sketch. Another example you'll see here is a car sketch that I did. And even though it's a relatively static, uh, you know, in terms of its position on the page, I wanted to give it a little bit of life. And you can look here at, at, the, at the tail end of the vehicle. And you can see even off of these antennas, I have a little uh, kind of uh, faded flare coming off of those and even off of the tail lights, right? I've used that trick before recently on my YouTube video, but I used a kind of a, a flare, a motion flare of light coming off of this beacon on top of this vehicle, as well as off of the tail light as well. So you can see that there. And then also it's subtle, but you may notice that the front wheel is actually turned, right? So that, that also is kind of implying movement. It's not just static, a straight three quarter view. And so sometimes that type of thing can really help as well. So this is a, a little bit quite different, but this was a, a hand vacuum inspired by Ferrari. And so this was kind of a, a, a school exercise that I did with my class. And uh, although I wanted to imbue the product with attributes that you would associate with Ferrari. So certainly fast motion, speed, uh, all those things. And that's why a lot of the strokes of color that you see on here are the way that they are. And I have a little bit of flare also going off of the tail end. Okay, so so those are a couple of techniques, right? R very simple. You may have seen them before or done them before yourselves. But today is Retro Wednesday. So I am digging deep into the vault of Coach K. And I have come up with some sketches that I did with a friend of mine. He's also a classmate in graduate school, Brian Lafitte. He's a professor at NC State. And we used to work together at IBM uh, during school and we, we co-taught a class. But basically we would, we would get together and instead of doing the work that we should do, we challenged each other with sketch wars. So we, you know, day to day or week to week, uh, one of us would give each other a challenge and then we'd have a time set to go and, and, and sketch that out. So in this case, we chose an aircraft, right? So it could be anything. I, I don't know anything about aircraft. So, but, but he's very meticulous, an awesome illustrator. He can get in there and he can actually uh, sketch out and illustrate parts of the motor, maybe how it functions, pistons, gaskets, whatever, you know, I don't know this stuff, but, uh, but it was fascinating for me to watch him sketch and the level of detail that he could achieve in his sketches. So I was trying to emulate his style 
in sketching out these kind of single passenger aircraft. And so that's what I'm revisiting today. These are from 1985. So I'm surprised <gasps> that the, the, the colors haven't faded and they were actually, well, not, not, they weren't really colors. They were actually ink drawings and I used a lot of cross hatching. Uh, that's really all we had while we were in our, in our cubicle uh, at work. So uh, I, I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna show you some techniques now, all right? And so here we go. Hey, so there's one other caveat before we get started here. And I just want to say, you know, if you're an aeronautical engineer, don't leave comments on this channel like, you know, those canard wings would never work or, you know, the angle of that slope or the wing and this, that, and the other. That's not the point. You're missing the point altogether. We're here to have fun. We're here to sketch and we're trying to achieve a little bit of implied realism, you know, I said I'm not uh, I'm not an airplane designer. I know I know nothing about aviation, but I'm just having a little bit of fun with some folks. So, like I said, if you got a problem with that, then you know you're in the wrong channel. So let's move on. Let's have a great time and try to learn something together. Thanks. Man, it's hard to believe this sketch is 25 years old or or actually older. But I wanted to take the time up front to kind of show you how I work. You've, you've seen it in other videos, but I used that original sketch as an underlay. And I really worked now on creating some new proportions kind of, you know, based on years of experience now in design. And, and I, I hope that my design sensibility has, uh, has increased considerably. So I, that's what I'm trying to incorporate into the sketch. And, and I know that we're not dealing quite with the motion that uh, is the topic today, but I just wanted to kind of reveal a little bit about how I would approach the the new sketch uh, with, uh, I'm using Sketchbook from Autodesk. It's kind of my, my go-to for digital sketching. It's, it's simple, intuitive. You can pretty much teach yourself. But so I'm blocking in some color. I'm blocking in basic shade and shadow on the on the plane itself to just try and create uh, more or less an illusion because this is still a quick sketch i'm not i'm not uh i'm not wanting to really invest a, a a huge amount of time but i really want to increase the implied realism so the the believability of this as a small little personal jet perhaps so I, so basically I'm going around, I'm selecting areas, I'm using a lot of bucket fills because it, it's fast and efficient. And really what I did at the beginning was I took my original line layer and duplicated that. I do that all the time. Then I turn off and I lock my original line layer. And so that allows me to go in and erase lines uh, where I want to put highlights like you'll see back here on this, this turbine. There'll be some highlights coming in where uh, in the, the original line drawing, there were black lines. So I, I want those to kind of go away. So it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a delicate balance between keeping the original sketch, but also erasing a few lines that uh, you know would inhibit putting nice highlights. So off to the left here, this is not a view that I originally had, but this is the, gonna be the one that really uh, shows or implies a lot of speed and that was kind of the original request was how do you incorporate motion uh, into a sketch and so I just very roughly uh, with my stylus I kind of hogged out some ba a basic perspective view basic proportions but now I, I definitely adjusted them quite a bit I even went in on the original line the rough line drawing and adjusted that but now the kind of the cool thing here is that in sketchbook i'm using the one point perspective tool and that's going to be that's going to create this this one vanishing point where all my blurred lines so this is really kind of a a blurred motion tool it's available in uh in photoshop and we're, we're going to be going in there right now you can see i'm there i've selected those lines and with the blur function, I've selected the blur motion function and I'm playing around with the, the different effects that I can get with that tool itself. And here it is. I mean, so it's really fast. It implies fast and speed. 
it's kind of a cool way that you can achieve that very fast and efficiently. So I kind of hope you like that little tip. Hey, if you have any additional ideas for future videos, please put it down in the comment and I'll, I'll respond. I've already made a couple uh, videos based on some suggestions that have come in through the comments. Hey, and if you like what we're doing at the channel here, hit subscribe and the notification bell. And Coach K will be back with more tips and tricks. See you soon.